I'm uh, Dana Nixon, and uh, I'm 94 and a half. I'll be 95 in February. I come to the Y because it's a good place to exercise and, and meet people. No, my dad comes to the Y five days a week, and there are days when I would rather sleep in, but I have to go because <laughs> it's important to him. Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, he comes and lifts weights, and then Tuesday and Thursday, he does the senior aerobics class. I go through the machines as fast as I can. I get on a treadmill and then I go to the other machines uh, to exercise my legs or arms. It makes my day, really, because there are more interesting people in the YMCA of any place that I know. My dad always had the dream of going on a cruise to Alaska, so our whole family went last May. And on the fourth day, he came down with, well, what we thought was bronchitis, but it went very quickly into pneumonia. He was very sick. He, he almost died that night. He went into septic shock and was treated on the ship. He started to recover by the next day, and the, the doctor there said that he probably wouldn't have recovered if he hadn't been so active. I figured that I had to recover, and I did what everybody had me do. And my recovery was pretty fast. He came in when he was still on some oxygen and trying to recover from the pneumonia. And he was like, I'm going to do this. I'm coming back. And he was. The next week, he was back in here and moving around and started off a little slower, but then just right back into it. He attacked his recovery like an athlete, like a 94 and a half year old athlete. I make the effort. I, I, I don't feel like, well, I'm going to skip today, no, or I want to skip today. I, I want to go to the Y. For the Y, I just really believe he's an inspiration to everyone here that likes to see him. You know, he stops every day for coffee to see all those World War II friends. They're great people. They're really, they really are the greatest generation. They're very social, and they have a common bond in, in the history that they've shared. So going and working out and then coming in for coffee and talking to all those friends, it's really been uplifting. I see people of all ages. They're getting some good out of this, and it's good that, that they are. And I, I say a pat on the back for the YMCA.